Using the weeder. Insert the leading edge of your cut vinyl into the weeder. The vinyl should slide nicely between the separation blade and the base plate. Separate the vinyl from the backing paper and adhere the waste material to the weeding spool. Place your hand on the backing material to help guide the graphics as you turn the handle with your other hand. Notice the weeder weeds all lines of copy simultaneously. You do not need a weeding border. The separation blade gives a smooth, even separation of the vinyl, forcing the waste material off and the image to remain on the paper. While weeding, you're able to keep your hands free and watch closely as the weeding takes place. This will enable you to catch any letters that are not properly cut before they lift. Notice how large and small copy weed easily. Instead of having a messy handful of weed waste material in my hand, the waste is compacted neatly on the spool. This cardboard tube is the same tube that comes in the center of a new roll of vinyl. When you have weeded roughly 30 yards of material, just slide off the tube and discard the waste. A question often asked is, will the weeder work for small, tedious letters and graphics? The answer to that is yes. Anything you can weed by hand, the weeder will help you weed faster and easier with more control. Once you learn how to use it, the speed and accuracy with which you weed will greatly improve. In this clip, I am weeding 3 8 inch and 1 quarter inch square serif copy, one of the more difficult to weed by hand. Notice the small letters. It is very important that your image is properly cut, and the quality of vinyl will affect the weeding performance. Our patented separation blade is one of the secrets to weeding these difficult graphics with ease. As you weed out the unconnected centers, add them to the sticky collector spool to finish your weeding.